Hey guys, welcome back to King's Outdoor Life. Out here in the backyard today. And yeah, gonna try to spread this dirt around a little bit before it sits in raining all week this week. It may be too bit muddy of a mess, but I'm gonna put the tiller on and try to just use the bucket just to maybe smooth it out a little bit and let this rain continue to settle and get a little bit more in place though. So real quick, uh, my YouTube buddy in South Dakota sent me a sweatshirt. So thank you to him. And I was gonna show you, it's pretty cool. It's called Huzu, H-U-Z-U. -U. And look, it comes with its own bottle opener that's attached to a string and it's got a built-in insulated koozie here on the pocket so can't beat that so uh hey special thanks I, I don't know if he wants to be mentioned or not so i'll uh if he wants to be mentioned i'll put it in the description below uh, his channel so hey thanks for watching click like subscribe So better than it was but it's still too wet and needs to get more i guess solid over those lines you can see the roll that goes like that that's where my tractor would dip as i would go over where they put those lines in so i gotta let this settle a little bit and come back and work on it some more maybe giving them another month or so see what it does but better than it was and i gotta got this up here doing better there but Got to figure out how I'm going to do my my shape here. I got a, the the tanks here. I just got to taper off each side so I can mow right over this without having to stop. Because the last thing I want to do is have to stop when I mow. All right, so I've got the drag hera set up. I'm going to try to drag it down and maybe throw some seed to it sorry for all the wind noise uh storms coming through tonight i don't get i want to get seed down before it does So notice the pallet forks are still on the front of the tractor. Why didn't somebody tell me that? It would have been nice to know because I end up burying them in the hillside there. But anyway, Lawson and I got them loose and no, uh, no major harm, I hope. Anyway, so I ran the drag over it with the teeth down to try to break up the clods and level it out. And then I flipped it over with Lawson's help and we ran over it and over it and over it with the teeth up so hopefully get a smoother surface by running it with the teeth up it was putting more of um like lines or ditches if you will with those teeth down so i like it better with the teeth up and there the wind blew over my camera that happened seven times i think today so i kept having to reset the camera back up but uh, hopefully you can see how we go about this and get it all smoothed out and ready to seed <laughs> All right, so I got it all drugged down. Is that what you say it? I've heard of all drugged up, but never drugged down. So anyway, drag, drug, have drug. I don't know. Anyway, there it is. I did it with the tines down first. 
I flipped it over and did tines up. So I'm gonna run to Walmart, grab some seed, and be right back. All right, so I got grass seed, Scott's Turf Builder Bermuda grass. I'm about to go try to put it out. It's pitch dark outside. It is 7.30. There's the radar. You can see this line of storms basically goes from New Orleans to Canada. So we got a lot of rain coming. I hope it didn't wash all my seed away, but I'm gonna give it a try. Never know you try. 